welcome back to another vlog today is sunday and as you can probably see i'm keeping my voice down a little bit because jace is fast asleep on me he literally just fell asleep i've been trying to work on getting him to fall asleep without feeding from me so just getting him to fall asleep by snuggling him etc etc because i've actually got a concert night out type of thing booked for next month it's in about a month's time today's the 9th and it's on the 11th of july i think and i really 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 want to go to it obviously i won't be going if jace is not able to settle himself on anybody other than me <laughs> and obviously if i can express enough breast milk for him to leave chris whilst i go if none of them things happen then obviously i won't be going but he's gone down for the last couple of days to sleep without having to be breastfed which is really really good so he's just asleep now oh my gosh guys i can't even cope with how cute this outfit is i'll show you it properly a little bit later but it's so cute i love it so much so it's just coming up to 11 a.m chris has just set off for a full day doing some work with his skating he's not going to be back until 9 p.m tonight maybe 10 p.m which is a bit of a not very happy about obviously it's sunday and i like to do things with a family on a sunday but is doing some filming. So he's gone to do that. Uh, Isabel's just upstairs with her friend Amy, who she had a sleepover with last night. I think they're just getting themselves ready as Amy's mum's coming to pick her up very shortly. Isla's causing mayhem with them up there. And Esme will be back from her sleepover in about 15 minutes or so. It's been a very friend weekend this weekend. The girls have spent a lot of time with their friends, which I think is so important. I know they spend most every day at school with their friends, but obviously at school they're working and they're concentrating on schoolwork, hopefully, etc, etc. So it's nice for them to be able to relax with their friends as well. And that's what we've done a lot of this weekend. I need to make a plan for me and the girls today because as of probably 12, all friends will have gone home. Esme has been brought back from her friends and it'll be just me and the girls and Jace. And I can't decide what to do for the day. I hate days like today where I've just got no idea what we can do. So that's everyone back home. Isabel just very kindly made everyone a cup of tea. Thank you, Isabel. So we're going to drink an ice lolly. The girls are having teas and ice lollies. It actually makes your teeth go really sensitive because they go for the cold and the hot. And it's Ooh. actually quite It's nice. making my teeth feel sensitive just thinking about it. Esme is current. Oh, is straight back home and straight in the garden with Prinny. She's literally just walked through the door. You didn't even say hi to me, Esme. Oh, sorry. <laughs> She's literally out here on this mat all the time, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> okay guys, so as you already know, I just got back from my sleepover and I'm sat here chilling oh. with Prinny. Me and Prinny are just having so much fun. Aren't we Prinny? Yeah! <laughs> and guys, my birthday is in 10 days. 10 days! I'm so excited because I'm going to be 10. excited. I've asked for a phone and I really want some Barbie dolls as well. I've, I suddenly just came obsessed with them. And also today we're gonna, after our sleepover, well we're gonna go, well now we're gonna go to Crown Point I think it is. And we're gonna go to Smith Toys to look for my birthday present. Yes! Um, but I'm, my mum might not buy me any today because I might see them but she, I, I'm just gonna tell her what I would like kind of. And then we're gonna go to like maybe like the George, like the Asda or something and get some bibs for Jace and clothes. And then, I'm not sure what we're gonna do. We might come back here, I can do my homework and stuff. And yeah, that's the plan for the rest of the day. So we've decided to nip out for a couple of hours. We asked the girls, what would you want to do today? And they said they'd like to do a bit of crafting maybe. And as we don't have many craft stuff in the house at the moment, the girls have used lots of it up. We thought we'd nip to Crown Point and go to Hobbycraft and probably the pound shop because you can get some great deals on craft bits in the pound shop. Obviously, they're a pound, so it's cheap. And the girls really like going there. And I also need to pick up some vests for Jace, short sleeved vests as he's not got many. And the, actually he did have lots, but you wouldn't believe how much baby poop 
stains <laughs> and he's gone through quite a lot so we're going to go and buy him some more vests he's been really good at the moment he's just looking at his little toy thing that i bought him a few weeks ago oh my gosh he looks so adorable look at those bright blue eyes little man look at those bright blue eyes you are so cute his eyelashes are growing so long in fact mm -hmm. i can even see them on the camera they're so cute and just like your sisters you've got blonde eyebrows very cute <laughs> right you buckled up girls yeah let's get off before this little man starts getting fussy what's up guys so i am on a skate filming a skate filming day today a blade filming day today we're just at spot number one and typically the five percent chance of rain that we had today we seem to have got super unlucky and hit that five percent because it is currently raining right now. In fact, it might have only might have just stopped. But it was just raining and the floor was soaked. So we're kind of just hanging out underneath this roof here, trying to avoid the weather. Hopefully things get a little drier and we can crack on and get some really good stuff done today. So we just got to Crown Point and I think the first stop is going to be Mother Cat. Definitely not smooth size. Yeah. The first stop is going to be Mother Cat for some baby vests. Although I'll probably get them in Asda because they're cheaper in there. We're going to have a quick look in Mother Care anyway before going to Smith's Toys to look for Esme who's currently my birthday. dancing like a crazy girl right now. Let's have a quick look for Esme for her birthday. But Esme just made a good point in the car. Oh yeah, so I don't get why the, pe the people, do you know like say it was my birthday? I don't get why like my mummy and daddy don't get presents because I'm the whole point that the you're the whole point that the birthday happened. Exactly. So why is it? Why should I get presents? Really? Right. Why isn't it you? Esme, as I said, I don't understand why I get presents on my birthday. Why is it not you? Because it's you that made had me. My it's you that made my birthday happen. So you should get. Thank you, Esme. I'm gonna buy you a present. So you're sacrificing all your presents. So we, no. so we don't need to go to no, look in no, Smith's no, toys. We can both get Really, should, we should go and have a look in like New Look, for me some clothes, maybe some, no? <laughs> they are very cute, Isla. No, I don't think that's your size. Guys, I love nothing more than this range from Mother Care. It's from the Jules. Five to six years. Jules Oliver. Yeah, but you're seven. <laughs> I know you do fit into five to six years still, but we should probably not be buying any more five to six years. Actually, this range is what Jace has got on today, which is so cute. You didn't stay asleep for very long, did you? Hey? Did you wake up? <laughs> wow, that's so pretty, Isla. Isn't it? Look, it matches that. It matches. Very cute. I absolutely love dresses like this for little girls. Don't you think that's so sweet, Isla? So cute. I was like, yeah, I think that's sweet, but um, I've got my own taste, thank you. And it's definitely not that. like them. I don't, don't think he wants that, Esme. Sure. <laughs> See you What's this? Hello. I want to be your friend, Jace. Yeah. Jace is like, no, not loving that. <laughs> Isabel's loving life way too much right now. <laughs> they are cute. Just wait until 
his first birthday and Christmas, when he'll actually be taking in all these toys and really be interested in them. Literally can't, well I can't wait, that's a lie. Keep almost saying I can't wait until that time, but actually I 100% can wait until that time because I am treasuring every single second of this little one being a newborn, even though he's not a newborn anymore, a baby. Well that's absolutely typical, isn't it? Hey, less than two weeks after we buy it, it goes on sale. Literally hate it when that happens. Mom. Yeah. Oh my gosh, when I, know. I was little, I heard Happy Land, but that was just my childhood. Happy Land were my childhood. <laughs> and now <laughs> she's talking like yeah. she's about 50. I am, Mum. In am. my, back in the day. Like one back in the day. Old. I don't think, we gave it to charity, but I don't think this Noah's Ark was a thing when no, but it's you so guys were younger. There's like loads of different ones you can get. Like yeah. I do. Oh, oh, so cute. I love them. Isla's looking at a mermaid book. Yeah. Oh, that's nice, Isla. Mermaid colouring book. Yeah. That's nice. I know, little boy, what's wrong? Are you okay? Do you want this, dummy? Do you want this? Do you want this? Oh, that is, that's, um, yeah. That's Sorry. Oh, Isabel Ingham. Harry, oh no, wait. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Isabel's still loving <laughs> the happy land right now. She's going, she's going through the whole shop going, oh, look at this one, look at this one. Right, but look at this one she's found. Cool. They, these sing, so you click on a rock band one. Right, they sing. But this, oh my gosh, it's camping and you can click, wait, let me click it. And he cooks food. We're well, not really, but you know. No, it doesn't really cook food, Isabel. No. <laughs> but it's a caravan. Oh my gosh, look at this dog. I'm so oh my gosh. Light. Yeah. Uh, I think you're a bit big for that, mate. Um, um, oh gosh, what are you doing? I hope you found that trolley like that and you haven't been walking around filling it because then we're going to have to go back, put all of it back. <laughs> Hi fam, I introduce you to the Ingham family band. Yay! to get Jace's carry cot bit and where are we going now Esme? Smith Toys! We're going to have a quick look around Smith Toys. Little man's hopefully going to fall asleep. Well this one didn't last very long in his pram. <laughs> Did you? I know what might make you happy. What if mummy eats an ice cream with me? And then it will come out to you kind of too when you have a feed. <laughs> That's just mummy trying to convince herself. Can we? Pardon? Can we? Can we what? Yes. Can ice cream? Mm. Look at us, mummy can't say no. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, oh my gosh, look at these ice creams. So cool. Look at that. Wow. Oh that one. A cheeky dog. Oh cheeky monkey. Oh my gosh, Jace. Oh Jace, what are we going for, little man? <laughs> are you happy with that, Isla? Yeah. That looks delicious. I've ice cream for like ages. From the we whiskey. Mallorca. We always get, we always Since get we've been in Mallorca, so you've been about a week then. I mean, Mr. Whippy ones. That looks delicious. Isabel went for an Oreo cookie one. Mm -hmm. And now I have to decide if I want one or not. Oh my gosh. Esme, come here. <laughs> How much Barbie stuff is in this shop? <laughs> <laughs> Astronaut Barbie! <laughs> Esme, your eyes are so wide. Astronaut Barbie! <laughs> a plane! There's a new Barbie, it's called Hello Barbie. It's like a thousand pound. But you say, what? It, there's a button and you say Hello Barbie, turn, um, let's cook some food. And it says, okay, and the oven's all ready for you. And then you also say, um, hey, I mean, you say, um, what was it? What did I say? Hey Barbie. Hey, hey Barbie or hey Barbie house, I can't remember. Turn stairs into slide and the stairs turn into slide. It's like a, it's oh like a thousand pounds. Oh my god. Is it this? No, that it's not that. It's not that. On it. oh, right. yeah. That's big but though. I think it's only in America. It's like a thousand. Look at the little ones. Oh, they're cute. Oh, eh? oh, they are so boy, cute. Boy, boy. <laughs> Isla is loving trying out the bikes now that she can finally ride with no stabilizers. Yeah. That's a really big bike though. Yeah. Do you reckon? Is it my size? It's, it's a bit bigger than the one you've got. Let's see if you can do it. Can you go? Wow. Wow, Isla. Well done. We just got back to the car we all 
also called to the pound shop and the girls got themselves, I don't know if you can even see in here, but we've got some craft bit. Oh my gosh, that dot on the camera is so annoying. I don't know where it is. I can't see anything, but I can't seem to get rid of <gasps> That's it. That's really weird. I know. Must be something so behind the lens. Anyway, the girls got themselves some paintbrushes, uh, plain canvases each. I got her friend a card who's leaving um, school. She wanted to write a card for her. We got some plain canvases because they want to do some painting when we get home and these super cute doodle books, which I'll show you when we get home, but they look so cute, don't they? Oh, it's so soft. Yeah, I'm going to give Jace a quick feed before we set back off home. You've been a good boy though, haven't you? <laughs> look at this cheeky little man. Look how big you're getting. Look how dribbly you are. <laughs> Ew. A boo, a boo, a boo. It's funny because Jace looks so big to us now. <laughs> and whenever we meet any eye fan, they always say, oh my gosh, he's tiny. He looks really big on the camera, but honestly, in real life, he's like the tiniest. Did we meet some eye fan today? Yeah, <laughs> at the shops. And they all said, he's so small. And we said, he's not. He's a big, big. Jason! <laughs> <laughs> He's a big boy! He's a big boy now! Anyway, little man, we're going to give him a quick feed before we set off home. Yeah. So we've just got back home and mum is just doing dinner and I thought that me and the girls could do our canvases that we bought at Poundland. I completely forgot where it was then. And I've also just got out all the paints and all the paint, like, pots and brushes and everything. And we're about to start painting. Are you ready, girls? Yeah! We're just having a little play while we wait for dinner to finish. Aren't we? <laughs> you look so confused. <gasps> I know what we could do. We could try laying on your tummy, which she doesn't usually like. We have tried quite a few times. Should we give it another go though? Hey? What's this? What's this? Doopy doo doo. Clever boy. He's wiggling and wiggling. He's a clever boy. Who's so clever? So I think I mentioned before that, maybe it was today or maybe it was tomorrow, I can't quite remember, that I'm hopefully going out to a concert in a couple of weeks with my sister. And I really, really, really want to go, but obviously Jace is breastfed and he's still at a stage where I can't feed him and know that he'll go three hours or anything like that. He can feed every three hours. Sometimes it is during the day. Sometimes it's every hour. Sometimes it's every half an hour. It just depends on how he's feeling. And obviously breastfed babies, I think it's easy for some people to forget that it's not just food for them. It's comfort and pain relief and a drink. It's literally everything. I saw actually a quote on Facebook saying something like, put that glass of water down. You only had a drink half an hour ago. You can't have another one right now. And that's how people see it with babies when they say, can't possibly want another feed. You only fed half an hour ago. It's not just food, it's everything else. Anyway, going off on one there. So I need to start expressing because if I don't have anything expressed, I definitely can't go out. I need probably about 15 out or something for the few hours that I'm going to be away. And Nubby, very very kindly sent me this brand new double electric breast pump I've not tried it yet so I can't comment on it but this looks so good and the fact that it's a double as well so I'll be able to just do both in one go makes it so much more quicker and so much more easier hopefully i will be able to express enough it says it mimics baby's feeding there's nine adjustable settings it's rechargeable and portable it looks awesome it also says that it won the mother and baby silver award in 2018 so i'm looking forward to using that but another thing they sent me that i wanted to show you guys because i didn't know these existed and i'm so chuffed with it so 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 happy so massive thank you nubby who didn't sponsor this video, but they did gift me these items. Is this sterilizing baby dummy little tub thing? I didn't even know these things existed, you guys. Look how cool this is. It's like a little pot, it's got a strap on it. You can press that button there and it sterilizes it. I don't think, I think it might take batteries maybe. 
Oh, what's this? Maybe not. Maybe I just need to open that. I don't know. I'll look in a minute. But anyway, it opens just like so. Oh, this is a USB charger. So you charge it up. Oh my gosh, this is so good. I think that might be a dummy. Yeah, I think that's awesome. So, so cool. That will definitely come in handy. And I think this little one right now has had enough tummy time. Should we pick you up and turn you back over? Should we turn you back over? I think all that straining been laid in his stomach has led to a very full nappy. Let's go get you changed. So we've just finished making our paintings and they are all so amazing. So here is Esme's and she did a really cool like glittery border um, which was so cool. She did some clouds, um, a sunset and like it's really really cool. All of us did like it was a little bit of a challenge but we all did like attempting to do a sunset and that was sort of the challenge. Then here is Isla's and Isla's is so cute. I absolutely love it just because it's so unique because all of us decided to do like red, orange, yellow but Isla took it to the next level and did red, orange, yellow and even a bit of blue at the end which I'm absolutely loving. Isla's not happy with her. She's just washed her hands but she did have a bit of a cry didn't you sweetheart yeah because she she thought she didn't ruin it but she thought she did why did you think you ruined it um i painted i painted a bit of purple but then um i was i was i redid it but then um but then i actually um ruined the palm tree and i couldn't use a marker pen again because it had a bit of paint on it so i had to use another one and and do the outline of it yeah. But you didn't ruin it. It was so good. Yeah. And yours is the most unique out of all of them. Okay, so this one is mine. And I did some, well, I say clouds. It was just saw some white smudges at the top of the canvas. I did a sparkly sun, which sort of went on here, which is meant to be like the mountain. And the, uh, we didn't have a black, so I did a brown instead. I think they look amazing. I think all three of them, if and we just go up, we showed yours as All okay. three are like so good. You should be very proud of yourself. Yeah, girls. they're all really cool. Yeah. They're all really good. And I fam, I think you should comment down below and give Isla a little bit of love because yeah. she really does feel bad about hers. I think Isla's is incredible, especially because she's only seven. I think hers is the best to be honest. I like all to of say them. to say all the blue and like I really love it. Also, the girls got these mermaid doodle books from Mother Care today. They were on sale from four pound to one pound, and they're so cute. There's so much things inside to do, like this. Doodle your own mermaid adventure comic strip. So they get to make up their own story and write it. I absolutely love books like this, where instead of just colouring, the girls get to use their imagination. It's I'm so full now, of little craft ideas to do, isn't it? And now I'm going out to play in the garden. You're going to play with Prinny. And I'm going yeah. to unload the dishwasher. You're going to unload the dishwasher yeah. after dinner. Everyone's just winding down now, about half an hour. And then guess what time it is? Bed <laughs> Who remembers this cute little egg but sleep suit? <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so cute. I love it so, so much. What are you looking at? What are you looking at? Anyway, you guys, this is one of my favourite sleep suits when Jays were first born. Number one, because it's got a zip on. Number two, because the material's so, like, stretchy and cute. And I just love the colour and the pattern, I think it's adorable. And I found it just now after giving uh, Jace a really quick bath. And I thought to myself, oh, I smelt it, it came out of his wash, his wash load. And it smelt like he did when he was a teeny tiny newborn baby. And I smelt it and I thought, I felt really sad for a moment, like, oh my gosh, he's grown up so fast. And this was one of my favourite sleep suits and it's not going to fit him anymore. Because the last time he wore it, I think, could be wrong, but I think the last time he wore it was when we went to the cottage for Easter and he was only three weeks old then. And I just thought there's no way that's still going to fit. He's 11 weeks on Wednesday. And it does! It still fits and it looks adorably cute on him. It's probably because it's like a stretchy material. I don't know. But it looks so cute and I'm so glad that he can still wear it. He's going to be wearing this loads now because it's one of my favourites. So comfortable and I just love it. Anyway guys, I think we're going to end the vlog here because I feel like we've filmed loads today. We've not actually done too much. But I feel like it's going to be a really long vlog and... Did he just trump? Yeah. <laughs> and loads of footage is going to have to be cut out, so it's pointless me filming anymore. Mm -hmm. But I hope you've all enjoyed watching this vlog. All we're going to do now, me and the girls, are uh, settle down, get quick showers because it's school tomorrow, and then get ourselves to bed. Chris should be home between 9 and 10, I think. 
and then we'll probably catch up on a bit of Love Island, me and him when he gets home. But that's all. We've got a bit of a scary day for Jace tomorrow, a bit of a sad day, but you'll have to come back tomorrow and find out what that is. And we'll see you all back here at 5 p.m. Thank you all so much for watching. Good night, guys. <laughs> Thank you.